today in this session i am going to teach rudyard kipling's short story how the camel got its thumb who is rudyard kipling he is an indian born english writer born on 30 december 30 1865 and died in london 1936 his notable works are the jungle book the king the white man's bird and he got the nobel prize 19 on 19 not 7 in literature see here in this story imaginary story it's a fable one fable means here the animals are used as a characters fable means the fable story means the animals are used as a characters at last it conveys a message or it conveys moral that is a fable story here also the animals are used as a characters in this story how the camel got its hump hump do you know what is hump is a muscle formed on the ox on the surface of the body that is a, the mass of uh, flesh stored on the uh, surface of the body on the ox the camel being the camel so that is hump okay how the camel got its hump it's a story it's a imaginary story here the characters are camel horse dog ox man and zin what are the characters okay what is their role how he got it some we'll see see it was the beginning of the world the time animals were working for man they were doing human beings animals all the animals were working for the human beings here Here, these are also the animals working for the human beings. In this story, the every animals is every animals were working there for man, but the camel didn't work for him. didn't work anything. Just idle, just simply the lazy camel spending the time in the howling desert. Howling desert means here the desolate desert. Simply, it's eating thorns and then the sticks. It's just simply eating, and they didn't do any work to the man. Okay. At the time, on the Monday morning, the horse came. Ho oh, camel, ho oh, ho oh, camel, ho oh, camel. He called the camel. The horse called the camel. Camel, ho oh, camel. Come and work for us. Work like us. See. The horse came in saddle. The saddle means a uh, leather, a place on the surface of the body. It's a seat. So like the horse, so like us, you have to come and trot. Trot means to ride. We are riding. So like us, you have to come and trot. To that, the camel replied. He uttered the word hum. The camel uttered the word hum. He didn't say anything. He didn't deliver any other words. Just say hum. What is hum? The camel even don't know the meaning of hum. See the delivery of the word hum. The horse complained to a man. The horse complained to a man because all the animals were serving for the man. So the horse complained to a man about the camel's behavior, about the camel's response, about the camel's word hum. Okay. Then the dog came. The dog came with stick. Is the the dog also doing something for man? So the dog also said, "Camel, go oh camel, come and fetch and pick the stick like us. Do something like us." The camel replied the the same word, "Hum." He didn't say anything. The dog also made a complaint to the man. Very complaint here, man. And then, ox came up with yoke. Yoke means is a, a weapon placed on the neck of the ox, placed on the surface of the neck. The farmers uh, used to plowing, used for used that for plowing. Yes, the so ox came up with the yoke and said, "So you come and plow like us." We are plowing. You have to try to plow like us. 
but the camel to the camel also, so the camel replied the same hum. The word hum. So these both three, all three, horse, dog, and ox, horse, dog, and ox made a complaint to a man. The man he didn't say anything, just he said, what double time to make up for it? You have to compensate. I, I can't do anything with the camel. I can leave the camel alone in the desert. The lazy guy, I can, uh, I can leave the camel, lazy, lazy camel in the desert. But you have to compensate the work of camel. You have to do the double time work to make up for it. So what will happen? Yes. The, the angry came uh, to uh, the three. The angry came these three horse, dog, and ox. They held a panjoyer. That means they held a meeting in the edge of the desert. That means they, they, uh, they all three, uh, this, this words, that means uh, the man's words, double time war. So made a angry to the three. So they, made, they held a panjoyer, held a meeting in the edge of the desert. What we will do? And gives the word the camels was also on us. What we'll do? What we have to do? We have to do something. So at that time, a jinn, jinn, we have to pronounce the word jinn. We call him as a jinn. He is in charge of all desert. He is the desert, desert in charge. Like God, the spirit. It's a good spirit. In charge of all desert, arrive to the spot. At that time, the horse asked me, in charge of all desert, can you allow the any animal, can you allow the any animal in the desert be ideal without working? Certainly not. The jinn said, certainly not. I won't allow any animal to be idle in the desert. Okay. So one by one, the horse complied. See, us complain about the camel, the dog also complained about the camel, and ox also complained about the camel's word, hum. The three animals made a complaint on the camel. The camel said, just we called, uh, the, we called the camel for, for help, help uh, for, the, for working to the man. But the camel said, hum. Then, the jinn, wait a minute, this is my camel only. This is my animal only. Wait a minute. I will hump you. I will hump you. The jinn then is able to meet the camel. The camel is uh, standing in front of the pool. He's standing in front of the pool of the water. He saw the reflection of his image in the pool. He saw the reflection of his image in the pool. The jinn reached to the spot. Oh my dear friend, the, the animals, the horse, dog and ox made a complaint on you that you didn't, you didn't do any work since morning, since, uh, since Monday one, since Monday. Now today is Thursday. You didn't do any work for the past three days. Is it right? Is it, uh, is it fair to you that, that to that jinn also to that jinn also, the camel said, hum. Suddenly, jinn made a magic, jinn made something that there is a real hum. Up to this, the camel don't know what is hum, what is this thing. But he delivered, he uttered a word, single word, hum, 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 hum. The jinn, with his magic power, he made a, a real hum on the surface of the camel's body. He saw his own reflection in the pool of the water. The camel saw the own reflection in the pool of the water. There is a, a moss of muscles, there is, there is a growing, there is a lump, lump like lump like structure is growing on the surface of the body. The camel saw its back, it shows big. Then the jinn said, yeah, now we go and walk along with the three animals. Camel said, see, it's now, I have a hump on my back, how can I work? Camel said, I have a hump on my back, how can I work with this hump? To that, the jinn replied, now you will be able to work three days without food. It is, I am giving you only for the purpose, not for, it is not the punishment to you, 
part because you left the three days without working but it's not the punishment it's for the purpose only that is you have you will be able to work three days without food without water this is the word uttered by the chain this is the story how the camel what is hum uh, do you understand this children i hope you all will understand the summary of this story now uh, let me explain the line by line in your textbook if you have a textbook please take your textbook i'll read it out line by line it will uh, give the uh, more meaning that means uh, you will get a more vocabulary meaning in your textbooks please take your textbook i'll read it out and then i'll say the meanings of the hard words in this in the beginning when the world was new and the animals were just beginning to work for a man it was the beginning that the animals all the animals were working for the man there was a camel one camel he lived in the middle of howling desert howling desert means a desolate desert idle desert because he did not want to work i mean the camel was very lazy he ate sticks thorns and prickles the plants like uh, the short needle like uh, uh, plants sticks thorns and prickles the roadside uh, roadside plants are called as the thorns there is a needle uh, is there no prickles and when anybody spoke to him he said hum so anybody spoke, spoke to him he didn't say anything he uttered a word only one word that is hum he don't know what is the meaning of hum but he said the hum presently the horse came to him on the monday morning the horse arrived on the monday morning with a saddle saddle means a leather covered seat that is put on the back of horse you have to write out the meaning a leather covered seat that is put on the back of the horse that is saddle on his back and said camel ho oh camel come out and trot like the rest of us come out and trot like that means to ride like rest of us we are riding you do try come on join with us the horse called the camel but the camel replied what it will reply what is it? its reply hum the word he delivered the word hum and the horse went away and told the man the horse complained to the man the man is supervising everything the animals what the animals are doing what the animals are helping us to build a new world okay the presently the dog came to him at after the next to the first horse first one is the horse next is the dog the dog came to him with a stick in his mouth and said camel ho camel come and fetch and carry like rest of us camel replied hum to the dog's words also he said the hum the dog went away and told the man present next to the dog also complained to the man next the ox came to him with a yoke as it is said that is a wooden or steel uh, weapon on the placed on the neck of the ox it will help uh, for plowing for plowing they are using this yoke hum to the ox also he delivered the word hum so at the end of the day the man called the ox and dog and the ox together and said three ho oh, three i am very sorry for you i am very sorry for you but the hum thing in the desert can't work the man said the hum thing can't work he would have been here by now so i am going to leave him alone so i am going to leave him alone you have to compensate his work you have to compensate the camel's work so you have to do the double time that made the three angry very angry this thing the man's words made them angry very angry and they held a bench of they held a meeting at the edge of the desert the camel came chewing cud chewing cud cud means here so after eating the animals the cow the goat and the horse have the habit of the camel have the habit of habit of retake his food and chew that means cud so chewing the cud that means things that is a uh, food taken next that is and long fed them then he said hum so simply without uh, talking anything the camel said the word hum and went away from the place then 
At that time, Jin, who was in charge of all this, rolling in the cloud of this, rolling, it, it's, he has a magical power. It's a imaginary story, no, so it's a real, it's not a real actually. So you have to play the story, it's not a real, it's a fable, imaginary story. So the Jin, the, uh, who is Jin, is the desert spirit, the god of the desert. So in charge of all deserts, he came with this magic power, like Shakti Mon. You know the Shakti Mon, the Batman. Batman is the Superman, no? like Superman, the Batman. And there's so many men there, no? So like them, he also reached the spot. And the horse said, Jin, or Jin of all deserts, is it right for anyone be idle? Is it right for uh, be anyone simply lazily without working in this desert? Is it right one? The Jin said, certainly not. No, I never allow anyone. Well, said the horse, there is a thing in the middle of your desert. In your desert, there is so that appearances, long neck, long legs. He has even done a stroke of work since Monday morning. Since Monday morning, he, does, he doesn't do anything. He didn't do anything, any works. Simply, he's eating uh, something in the desert. Who? Oh, said the jinn, whistling. That's my camel. That is my camel. What does he say about it? It's my camel only. He says, hum. That camel says, hum only. And he won't plow, or some plant. He won't plow. Then, very good, said the jinn. I will hump him. I will hump him. If you will kindly wake him, wake him in it. I will hump him. I will give a great lesson to him. I will give a hump to him. The jinn rolled and himself up in his dust cloth and took a walk across the desert and found the camel looking at his own reflection in the pool of water. So at the time, the camel saw his own, own image in the pool of water. The jinn reached the space, reached the spot and asked him, Oh my dear friend, jinn sat down with his chin on his head. See this, if you see the image, see the jinn, how, how, how he sat here. See the camel, saw his image in the pool and then jinn keep his hands in his uh, chin. And see, uh, the jinn sitting like this, is keep his hand on his chin and sitting like this, see. But the camel looked at his own reflection in the pool of water. You have given the three extra works since, ever since Monday morning on all account of your idleness. On account of your idleness, you gave a three extra works to the other animals. And then he went off thinking with his chin in his hand. Come, said the camel, to the, to the monster of all deserts, to the in charge of all deserts also, the camel said the same word, hum. I shouldn't say that again if I wear it. The jinn said, if I wear you, I shouldn't say the word again and again. I want you to work. And the camel said, hum. I want you to the work. The jinn said, you must work. To that also, the camel said, Hum. But no sooner had he so this thing um, made something on the uh, jinn's mind. But no sooner had he said it that he saw his back, he was so proud of puffing up, puffing up into a great big hump. That is a most of uh, story that means the muscles on the surface is growing. Do you see that? Did the jinn, do you see that what is on your surface of the body? That's your very own now. That is your very own now. That you have what upon your very own self by not working. That is because of nothing. You are not working since Monday. You are not been there since Monday. You are not been joined uh, with the three animals. So because of that, I gave it to you. Today is Thursday. You have done no work since Monday. When the work began, now you are going to work. How can I? Say the camel, say the camel. How can I with this hum? How can I work? Again, say. That has a purpose. Purposely, I am giving you. That I already told you. All because you miss those three days, you will be able to work now for three days without eating. Without eating, you will be able to work three days. And don't you ever say, I never did anything for you. So you will never say, I, won't, I didn't do anything for you, so I, I gave this purposely to you. Come out of the desert and go with the three. 
and behave well and the camel went away to join the tree and from that day to this camel always wears the hum so from that day onwards uh, the camel wears the hum for the story this is the story how the camel got its hum we call it hum now so after this only after this incident only we call him it as a hum not to hurt his feelings but he has never ate this is not to hurt his feelings but you know one thing he has never ate caught up with the three days yes he knows the three days that he missed at the beginning of the world so in the beginning of the world he left the three days at the same time uh, he has never a plan how to behave so after that so this is the uh, this is the story how the camel got his uh, uh, his hum by rudyard kipling so these are all the three animals these are the four animals um, uh, four animal character characters in this story uh, i hope uh, you all understood well children thank you